Hey everyone, hope you all are doing well and safe. As promised in my last Hyundai Alcazza video, I am back with some exclusive information and spec about the Hyundai Alcazza which will be launched on 18th of this month. So let's just go straight into it. Take a look at this well laid out spec sheet shown while booking the new Hyundai Alcazza. Bold exterior. The body of the car does have some cool muscular arches but the headlights kinda give a cute look. So for me, it's not a completely tough looking SUV. But it is a good looking car. Captivating interior. Yes, it is a lovely interior and we'll talk about it more. Athletic performance. We'll find out about that once we get to take it for a spin soon. Advanced connectivity. It does come with the latest blue link connectivity. Comfort and versatile space. It is the longest car in the segment and I hope the extra length has contributed to the third row space as well. Reassuring safety. It hasn't been crash tested yet, so that's still a question mark, but I believe it will be a good rating on safety. So moving on, it is available with two engine options with a 2 litre petrol and a 1.5 litre diesel. Performance figures are not that impressive as the new Tata Safari produces up to 170 PS. Coming to the key features which include a lot of first and segment features. You get a 10.52 inch multi-display digital cluster. I usually prefer analog dials but this makes more sense as it also provides blind view monitor which is really impressive. BVM was first made popular by Audi and they are a good safety feature. Wireless charging has become pretty popular in cars today. But the Alcazar goes a step further with wireless charging available to the second row passengers as well. They've actually set first in segment Bose premium sound system which is true but it's also available in top end variants of many other cars like Hyundai i20, Kia, Seltos, Sonnet etc. So it's not that special. 64 color ambient lighting which will definitely make late night drives much more exciting. Easy second row tip and tumble captain and spit seats. I hope the doors are wide enough to easy third row access. First row sit back table. This might look like a simple feature but trust me this will play a major role to make travel life a lot easy and comfortable. I don't think it's big enough to hold a laptop but it's still a very interesting simple and smart feature. Auto healthy air purifier with AQI display. A feature which has become trendy with the covid situation happening. Talking about covid, please do stay indoor as much as possible, chill at home. Also, subscribe and support this small channel. Anyway, next stop. Voice enabled smart panoramic sunroof which was first seen on the MG Actor from this segment. Drive mode select and traction control modes which is neatly laid out and well finished with the chrome touches. Advanced Blue Link with OTA map updates which I would like to check out how accurate it is but I do like how the buttons have been neatly laid out with the sound knob in the center. Longest wheelbase in the segment at 2760mm which should mean it's pretty spacious inside. Speaking of interior, here's the seating options. 6 seater variant is available with captain seats and well laid out center console. 7 seater is a regular big SUV layout with 3 seats in the middle. Both variant seats have tons of flexibility options where you can completely fold down the second and third row and fit a bicycle if you want to. And the most exciting and important part of a new car purchase experience, color options. First on the list is Tiger Brown, Typhoon Silver, Polar White, Titan Grey, Phantom Black, Starry Night. That's a nice name actually. And in dwell tone options, we have Polar White with Phantom Black Roof and Titan Grey with Phantom Black Roof, which is my personal favorite. Let me know which is your personal favorite in the comment. And mostly, the dual tone color option will be a bit more expensive than the single tone. Moving to the engine and transmission options, here we get to see all the variants available, mainly three variants with the entry level being the Prestige and then Platinum to the top end signature. In Prestige manual transmission, both 6-seater and 7-seater are available in petrol option and diesel option, whereas the automatic variant is available only with 6-seater petrol and 7-seater diesel. Platinum manual is available with the petrol and diesel with the 7-seater model, whereas Platinum automatic signature manual and signature automatic are available only with 6-seater model. 
For now, these are the available variants that you can book. The Alcazar will officially be launched on 18th June 2021. That is when we could go and take a first look at it if COVID situation gets better. Hoping it does. Speaking of booking, if interested, you could book your brand new Alcazar at 25,000. And if you book it before the official launch, you have the option of cancelling your booking with no cancellation fees in case you don't like the SUV when you take a first look at it. Speaking of the price tag, a couple of weeks ago, it was heard that the Alcazar will be 1 lakh rupee costlier than the Creta depending on its variant. But I don't think that will be the case considering the features on offer. We'll surely bring you the first look video very soon. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.